friends this is third in the uh, third part in the our critical reasoning video series we will start with the first question the emission of sulfur dioxide when high sulfur coal is burned is restricted by law new coal burning plants usually comply with the law by installing expensive equipment to filter sulfur dioxide from their emissions these new plants could save money by installing instead less expensive cleaning equipment that chemically removes more sulfur from coal before combustion. Which of the following, if known, would be most relevant to evaluating the claim about, about how new coal burning plants could save ma money? A says whether existing oil burning plants are required to filter sulfur dioxide from their emissions. Now oil burning plants are irrelevant to the coal burning plants. So this option is not correct. Option B says whether the expense of installing the cleaning equipment in a new plant is less than the expense of uh, installing the cleaning equipment in an older plant. Now comparing old plants and new plants is co uh, completely irrelevant. Uh, to the topic here. Option C says whether the process of cleaning the coal is more exp than the process of filtering the emissions. Now this talks about the cost of the process which we were uh, missing here. So this is filling the gap which uh, was in a question and this is the logical answer. So option C is our answer. Let's move on to the second question. The ancient Nubians inhabited an area in which uh, typhus occurs. Yet, surprisingly, few of their skeletons show the usual evidence of the disease. The skeletons do show uh, deposits of tetracycline, uh, an antibiotic produced by a bacterium common in Nubian soil. This bacterium can flourish on the dried uh, grain used for making two staples of uh, Nubian diet beer and bread. Thus, tetracycline in their uh, food probably explains the low incidence of typhus among ancient Nubians. Which of the following is an assumption on which the argument relies? Let's look at option one by one. Option A says infectious diseases other than typhus uh, to which the ancient Nubians were exposed and unaffected by tetracycline. This is not relevant to the question asked. Let's look at other options. Let's look at C. Typhus cannot be transmitted by ingesting bread or beer contaminated with the infectious agents of this disease. This is not relevant to the question asked. D says bread and beer were the only items in the diet of the ancient Nubians which could have contained tetracycline. This is close but again not a valid assumption. E says typhus is generally fa fatal. This is again irrelevant. B says tetracycline is not rendered ineffective as an antibiotic by exposure to the process involved in making bread and beer this is the correct option since this can be an assumption on which the argument lies so option b is our answer let's move on to the third question many small roads do not have painted markings along their edges clear edge markings would make it easier for drivers to see upcoming curves and to judge the car's position on the road particularly when visibility is poor and uh, would therefore seem to be a useful contribution to road safety. However, after Great Water Country, a County painted edge markings on all its narrow uh, winding, the annual accident rate along these uh, roads actually increased slightly. Which of the following, if true, most helps to explain the increase in accident rate? Let's look at the option one by one. A says Great Water County has uh, an uh, usually high proportion of narrow winding roads. Does not help 
the proportion may be higher or lower but accident rate should have decreased compared to the previous accident so option A is ruled out B says in bad weather it can be nearly as difficult for drivers to see the road as it is at night again passage reads uh, edge ma uh, markings make drivers easier to see in poor visibility so option B is ruled out C says prior to the painting of edge markings great water counties narrow winding roads uh, already had a uh, somewhat higher accident rate than uh, other great water county roads winding roads may have uh, accident rate of 80% compared to other GC roads but uh, with edge markings that particular rate should decrease so C is also ruled out D says many of the accident on narrow winding roads involve a single vehicle wearing off the road rather than the collision of two vehicles now the passage doesn't compare the type of accident so option D is also ruled out E says after the markings were painted on the roads many drivers who had uh, gone out of their way to avoid driving on those roads at uh, night no longer did so this is correct drivers who were avoiding uh, driving in bad visibility now drives more at that time so this is our answer option E is the right let's move on to the fourth question in the United States of the people who move from one state to another when they retired the percentage who retired to Florida has decreased by three percentage points over the past 10 years since many local businesses in Florida cater to retirees this decline is likely to have a noticeable negative economic effect on these businesses which of the following if true most seriously weakens the argument here is the solution A says Florida attracts more people who move from one state to another when they retire than does any other state now this is a relative comparison of Florida with other states which is not relevant here B says the number of people who move out of Florida to accept employment in other states has increased over the past 10 years now this talks about uh, people moving out of Florida for employment and does not shed light on the retired people so this is again not relevant C says there are more local businesses in Florida than cater to tourists than there are uh, local businesses that cater to retirees at first glance they uh, seem to be a candidate but later found uh, that this sentence talks about the difference between the different businesses and such a difference might have existed even before the stated premise so this option is again ruled out let's uh, look at the uh, option E first the number of people who left Florida when they retired to live in another state was greater last year than it was 10 years ago this choice supports the argument proposed in the question so it is ruled out D says the total number of uh, people who retired and moved to another state uh, from their retirement has uh, increased significantly over the past 10 years this choice talks about the increase in the total number of people who have moved into another state this is exactly different to the conclusion argument proposed in the question hence this is a very strong candidate and answer uh, and option D is our answer let's move on to the fifth question in Arum while among those young children with elevated levels lead in their blood few leave in uh, houses containing lead based paint but uh, many uh, in areas where vehicular traffic is heavy these uh, children's elevated uh, blood lead levels probably result from lead added to gas since although although gasoline sold in and around Aramville has been lead free since 1990 lead from vehicle exhaust remains in the soil for many years now which of the following if true most strengthens the argument here is the solution A says 
sale of lead based paint for use in homes was banned in Aramwal in 19, 1977. Now this does not eliminate the probability that a lot of people live in houses that were built and painted before that year. So A is ruled out. B option says vehicle traffic in most residential areas of Aramwal is heavier today than it was 20 years ago. Now since lead was banned in fuel in 19 as fuel in 1990 whether traffic is heavier now or before then it is irrelevant C says some lead in the soil comes from deteriorating lead based paint on the exterior of buildings this does not relate the children to the lead so C is also ruled out D says in Aramville 